Greetings, anarchists, both new and old. It's been a little bit, because we've been through a little bit, and I'm going to give you a quick update on what exactly has been going on. Long story short, we were debanked. Our entire supporter base was effectively deleted by Square, the credit card processing company that we were using to accept donations, fiat money donations from our supporters for years. The slightly longer version of the story goes something like this. Um, a long time ago, back when we were a tiny channel over on Disenthrall, we were uh, on Patreon and we started to grow a support base. And then we watched as Patreon deleted the entire support base of two major content creators, which you guys probably remember happening. It was the first big sort of debanking scandal uh, that ever happened on the internet. And at that point in time, I said, oh, wow. Well, <laughs> as, as content goes, that is controversial. We are on the uh, sort of leading edge of that. And that makes us very susceptible to this kind of political activism on the part of the companies that help people connect with their supporters. So almost immediately we worked while I figured like while our supporter base was still small, the channel was small, everything like that, it would be better to move to a new solution at that time sooner rather than later. So we very quickly dropped Patreon. Subscribestar was an option back then. Uh, and then there was another one and both of these are, I forgot what it was now. It's been so long, but both of these are supposed to be much less censorious or politically activist. One of them died, dropped off the face of the planet. Um, and subscribe stars fee rate was really high if I remember correctly. Uh, so neither of those were a really good fit. Even at the time, uh, very quickly I said, okay, well, I need to stop depending on these other sort of platforms for doing all of the connecting with my supporters. I need to actually have a credit card processor, like an actual company would, that would handle the, the billing side of things. Of course, that would mean that I now have to take responsibility for getting the exclusive content directly to the supporters. And I couldn't use, you know, something like Patreon or Subscribestar, or those kinds of services to feed it to people for me and to manage all the, you know, like subscriber levels and stuff like that. But we did, and we did it that way for, I don't know, years and years, five years, six years, something like that. Square was our payment processor. That's all they did. And it was only for the Fiat supporters. And, and, uh, we made through various means our supporter exclusive content available to supporters. It wasn't perfect, but it worked. And the reason why I chose Square, by the way, is because I had been contacted by an ANCAP developer that worked inside of Square. And uh, I had had conversations with them about it. And this person related to me that they weren't terribly activist in nature on the inside, that they had not had any sort of uh, cancellation, like ban waves for people for social justice or other reasons. And and it, it sort of sounded more solid and dependable than Stripe, which is kind of their other big competition. Aside from going like full on bare metal, like authorized net, where you actually have to develop your own website integration with them. So Square, we were with Square for years. Square was great. It just worked. It handled all the, the money for us. And then one day I get an email saying, we're dropping you. We're not, we're not processing any more cards for you from here on out. Goodbye. Uh, of course, support tickets were opened. Hey, can you give me a reason? Hey, is there anything I can do? Did I do something wrong? Why didn't you warn me? Why, why don't you try and work this out with me first? What, what are you doing? <laughs> why? <laughs> to which I was met with precisely zero response. They don't give a shit. You're gone. And all the connections you have, all the saved credit card numbers and all that stuff, you don't get access to that. At most, we'll just give you like an export of like names and email addresses. Good luck. And so that com just completely, it did the exact same thing I was trying to avoid years ago by getting away from the big platforms and going to a payment processor directly. Turns out even that's not safe. So what that, that happened, I don't know, a month or a month ago now, 
maybe two months, something, something like that. And so here I am, I'm doing the video that I was trying to avoid ever needing to do, which is like, Hey, our entire supporter base was just wiped out. If you were, if you were a supporter, uh, you are no longer, unless you've signed up under this new system, which we've spent the last month or so building up for you guys. So what have we done? It's, it's a two pronged attack. First, we went with Stripe because some other people who I won't name because I didn't ask permission first with equally controversial opinions that they're putting out in public as a platform have been using Stripe for years and years. Is that any kind of guarantee that the exact same thing won't happen again with Stripe instead of Square? Hell no, it's probably going to happen again. So as a backup, I have started opening accounts with other processors who will remain nameless as backups. And also I worked with um, another group of people. <laughs> I, I don't want to like out all these companies yet, but anyway, we have a middleman platform that appears to be apolitical, doesn't handle the payments, but integrates with the payment processors. And what they do is they're really good at communicating with people and serving up content to people and they integrate with the payment processors. So what we have here is a situation where we have a really cool platform now that's better than anything I've ever had for the supporters before. And uh, what it does is it serves up uh, all the sort of supporter exclusive rewards for the different supporter levels for them. And it lets me sort of easily message people and email people when we release the new content so that they know that there's new stuff out there for them to be able to watch. And uh, it's really cool. And it integrates with these other payment processors. So hopefully if we get dropped from one in the future, we'll just be able to more easily pick up with another. Now I know it's it's a pain in the ass as a, as a supporter to have to keep re-signing up to support things, but it's not my fault. <laughs> and I apologize, but I, it is what it is. When you're wanting to support a show like this, I think that just comes with a little bit of a pain in the ass every so often where you have to re sort of sign up for support. So what I want to do for you guys is I want to show you, and I'll put it on screen right now. We have a, a really cool new interface with some really cool new perks. We have the same support levels as ever, but we've got some new stuff that I just want to really quickly show you. We have the same 3D animated wallpaper selection that we've done before. These are all the custom backgrounds that I use in the shows. You've seen them in the background many times, almost every show. We have exclusive live streams. We have after shows. We have you know, a library of things that we've built up over the years of just special content. Sometimes we do show notes behind the scenes or during the stream. We're actually taking notes about what we're talking about or what we're debating. Uh, I've started sharing those in a show notes section. Uh, we also have two new cool series that we're proud. We're going to continue to add to on a hopefully around weekly basis ish. Uh, where I'm having private conversations with really cool, smart, liberty loving people. We have uh, a running conversation uh, with Larkin Rose uh, and myself. We're talking about objective morality right now. Um, we, I'm dropping the third piece in that conversation probably today to supporters. And I have uh, likewise uh, a conversation going with Shepard and we're talking about values and virtues and morality. And, and uh, it's a really cool conversation happening there. He just responded. I think I'm also going to be dropping that uh, today or tomorrow as well. That's also the third episode in that conversation. Uh, and those are going to keep growing over time. And it's going to be really cool content that only our supporters are going to be able to see at the, I think, I don't know, $10 level and above. You can look at the website. So here's the website where you can go sign up or re-sign up if you were already a supporter and got debanked with us. It is anarchastsupporters.com. Sign up there. It's really easy. And then that takes you or gives you access to our supporter exclusive website with all the special content. We've never had this before, so this is really cool. It's portal.anarchastsupporters.com and you'll get emails and links to everything now. It's, I think, much more polished and professional than it's ever been before. So in a way, it's a better time to be a supporter than ever before. Uh, and then I'm also going to try and do some like monthly supporter exclusive hangouts or voice chats over on our discord server. So make sure you're on our discord server. Uh, we also have just, just 
as a general status update to a reminder if you use telegram we have a telegram group if you use signal we have a signal group we have a discord server with i don't know about 600 liberty liberty loving awesome people uh it's very well moderated we don't allow sort of assholes and toxicity and weirdos and uh, it's mainly a chill place to talk about freedom liberty current events uh fun stuff video games movies media whatever uh, we have a polynom server, which is like the grown-up version of the Discord server, where we talk about more adult things and things that, you know, you get banned for talking about el elsewhere. It's end-to-end uh, -end encrypted, very good stuff. So contact us on one of these platforms if you're interested, and we can give you the information you'd like. The last thing I'll say is that we're completely rebuilding our website. It used to be from before I took over Anarchast. Um, it was on a WordPress site. It's kind of old and decrepit now. Uh, it's not really working uh, as well as I want it to be. So we're, we're retooling the entire thing uh, to be much more streamlined and fast for you and maybe even provide some new capabilities. I want to start trying to build some sort of encyclopedia of uh, anarchist philosophy. Um, and I think this would be a really cool place to do that. So that's not out yet, but it will be. So that's the update. We were debanked. We have been picking up the pieces. We have a new platform in place for you guys. And I didn't want to make like long, I didn't want to make a whole bunch of videos where I'm like, oh, whoa, it's me. I can't believe this happened. I mean, I, I knew this was always a possibility. It's probably still going to be a possibility. It's definitely still a possibility now and tomorrow and the day after. I'll probably someday have to be making another one of these videos. So this is not like a mea culpa i mean it kind of is because they just gutted our entire support base and it's not like we're you know banking a lot of cash on on this platform but it does help to try and pay for things like the servers and occasionally to you know pay an editor or a content um, manager to handle updating the website and things like that we we do need some help in those areas the support is useful, is appreciated, is needed. E even if it's, you know, five or 10 bucks a month, it is helpful. So if you would, if you like the content on this channel, if you want to be part of the exclusive, cool, super set of supporter people, please consider going and signing up to be a supporter at anarchastsupporters.com. Thanks everybody. I'll see you again soon.